Hi guys, uh, part 3 of the J tagging tutorial, I think. Uh, you're going to need some equipment, which you need to get from, I don't know, I got one from Maplins. You can go to wherever your little um, hardware store is or electronic store. Basically, I have um, a couple of 100 ohm resistors. Now, you're going to need about 6 of them, but it's always good to get some spares. Uh, these are a little bit weird because I've taken them off my already made LPT cable so that I can show you what I do with them. And I'm going to use one new one anyway because I managed to break on whilst getting them off. So that's cool. Um, you're going to also need uh, two switching diodes. Uh, be, uh, all the links are going to be on the 7 cents post by the way, so go and uh, check that out and it will show you what you need. So yeah, two switching diodes. Uh, again, always good to get spares, but I've only got two at the minute, so uh, potentially problematic. Also, you're going to need an LPT cable connector head, which I found from Maplins actually, that's quite, that was quite good. Um, but yeah, I'll stick links on the posts and seven sins and possibly in the description as well. Also you need three little strands of wire, uh, two same length and one slightly shorter. Don't know if you can see those. My fingers in the way probably. Uh, but yeah basically just nick them off of an Ethernet cable and you're gonna need this as well which is an old Ethernet cable which I've cut oof, like five centimeters off each end and sliced it. You're gonna need seven separate uh, wires inside of it and I think it comes with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yes it does, so you're going to have to get rid of one but I did that afterwards if I were you just in case you mess it up and you didn't spare wire so it's good to have it just with you until the last minute when you definitely don't need it I'm talking gibberish but yeah basically just get an ethernet cable and cut it up like that make sure you've got the ends showing right um, once you've got all of those you can get on with the rest of it, oh yeah you need a bit of solder and a soldering iron of course fairly crucial, I forgot to mention it How's that looking? Not too shabby. Wonderful. Let me just get my uh, diagrams back up so I can remember where I'm going. Okay, you want to get your motherboard. Now, if you don't know your motherboard revision, there is a link that will show you how to work it out. Um, and I'll stick that in the description as well. So once you've got worked out what motherboard you have, I know that I've got an Xenon. So I need to find the JTAG points for an Xenon because it's special, it's different from all the others. So that's what I'm going to be using. Basically, uh, everything's the same except for this bit which I'm showing right now. Um, so yeah, if you've got a different motherboard, you're going to have to uh, use the, <coughs> excuse me, the diagrams which I will provide you with. Basically for this, you're going to have to use two switching diodes, which are those two. And your three little bits of cable, which are those. The only difference with this is that on other types of motherboard, except for Xenon, the wires go into different places, so you need a slightly longer one. Anyway, moving on, I'll show you what I'm doing, first of all. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to have it that way around. Um, actually, no, I'm not. You can probably see it better if I'm just like that. You're going to have to bridge a connection, first of all, from JD3 to JD7, I believe, which is right here, next to your heatsink. JD3, it says 2, 4, 8, and 7. So you need to work out 3, which is right there, and 7, which is right there. Again, these will be shown on this diagram, so you'll be fine working it out, whatever. And I'm going to use my shortest bit of wire. Bend over into a little loop. Oops. And get my soldering iron ready. Wonderful. Right. Not to melt anything. Okay, best way that I found to put the wires through. Uh, this may not be the, the right way or the best. Oops, best way or whatever. Um, but I found that I can get the wires through best from the back. So if if, I, if you you find that the um, the point where you want to put the wire through, and on the back you find the corresponding little bit of solder and you melt it from the back through to the front I so, know oh I appreciate this is pretty tricky to see but if you actually got it out and had a look at it it would make pretty decent sense so yeah let me just find the right spot oops yeah you remember what I said in the first video this being extremely fiddly Okay, so I'm melting the back, and I can push the wire through from the opposite side. Now beware, because it does get pretty hot. 
and I managed to leave one on the outside. It isn't good. Okay, so once you've got the first point through, you want to do it to the second point, basically following the diagram. Uh, it's not too tricky, except for the soldering. The uh, problem with this is the wires keep spraying, or fraying out rather. Uh, so it's getting harder to push through. I can't remember how I did it before, I think I had less thick wiring. But yeah, basically, do exactly the same for all the points. Okay, so there you go, you can see the first solder is in. Orange cable just there. Um, yep, yeah, I'll show you the rest of them in a second. Okay, so once you put your first wire in, you then want to um, just put your motherboard aside a second, get your wire, or your longer of the three bits of wire, and you want to get one of the two switching diodes, not the not the resistors, the diodes, and they look like that, if you didn't know, and they've got a little black bit at one end. Now, if you look at the diagram, you'll see that there's an arrow with pointing to a line, um, and the on, on the side the line needs to have the black bit on. Anyway, basically, yeah, it's a bit confusing, but it's alright. You'll you'll get it if you look at the diagram. So I'll chop this off, make it a little bit smaller. Now, what I do is I bend a hook into the one end with a pair of pliers, and I get my bit of wire, and I wrap it around. And this just basically makes it easier to put some solder on to keep it all together. Now, let's just see, how's that doing? Okay, so there you go, you've got that there. Um, you might want to add a little bit of solder to it. Um, and that'll just keep it all together nicely and ensure a good connection. Okay, not too bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's fairly solid. And that's all you need. Uh, you want to do two of those. And uh, yeah, I'll come back when I've got the second one done. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got two of uh, my wires with my switching diodes on there. Uh, you'll notice the black line. Uh, as I said, it needs to be pointing sort of that way, towards the edge. Anyway, yeah, uh, just point it towards the arrow on the black line on the diagrams. What you want to do now is solder it through the motherboard again, just like before. There you go. You can see it sticking through even though. Just there. Sorry, you probably couldn't see me soldering that. Anyway. You then want to just bend it across. Leave that there. Oh, no, maybe not. Leave that there. I'm smoking now. So you want to bend that across. And you want to stick that through the corresponding hole at the top. So, for me, it's that one. Now push it right through. So just want to stick a bit of solder in there as well. Just keep it in nice and tight. So hopefully that all stuck. Yeah, it looks like it. That's good. And then you just want to cut the end off of um, there, like that. There you go. It's gonna. Bend that over so it's out of the way. And voila, that's one done. Do exactly the same as the other one to the right uh, the right point. Um, as I said, the points are all stressed in the diagram, so um, I'll just show you what it looks like once I've done uh, both of them. Okay then, so as you can see, I've got my uh, two wires with the um, resistors, not resistors, sorry, with the di switching diodes on the end there. And they're going over to the points there. And I've got the looping cable, the short cable or whatever going straight across those two points there. I put a bit of sticky tape on here because you don't want the um, the wires touching each other where you've been soldering them. Uh, so I just covered one of those up. I should have used ins insulation tape but uh, or electrical tape but I haven't got none. So yeah, once that's done you can move on to the uh, LPT cable. First thing you want to do really and truly is, well, I'd say, yeah, no, you want to put the, this, the um, resistors on first, 100 ohm resistors. So, I'm just going to grab one and show you what to do. Basically the same as the diode. Uh, you want to just cut it off a little bit. To, say, there. Snip. And you want to bend this round. 
like so into a little hook. See that little hook through it? And you want to get your cable and stick it through that. There you go. Loop it round. And then get a bit of solder on that to finish it off.